Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you this Lico Butane Folding Camp Stove. Alright everyone, thanks for joining me today. I wanted to show you this little butane folding camp stove. I have been fascinated with these little butane stoves because they seem to um, run pretty well and they seem to be a lot cheaper to fuel, you know? If you're looking at a can of this, you could be looking at, you know, five, six bucks. Um, even the cheapest stuff I've seen is around four or five dollars, and that's some no-name brand. But if you're looking at a can of this, you can get these cheap, as cheap as two dollars a can. Uh, if you buy them in bulk on Amazon, I've seen them around that price. So if you shop around, you can get a much better deal. You do lose a little of the heat factor because you don't have the, uh, the propane mixed in with this stuff. But it's really negligible, and if you're just heating up water or heating up food, you know, this isn't something you're going to really notice. So let's get into the stove. This is made by a company called Lico. It comes in a box like this, which says Kovar on it. It did come with instructions. However, I'm going to need Crazy Russian Hacker to decrypt them because I don't speak Russian. <laughs> anyway... You kind of know what it does. I mean, it's a stove. It's pretty simple to figure it out. Weighs 13.8 ounces. It's got a little uh, piezoelectric starter on the side. And I'm going to unfold it out real quick. The power is rated for 2,800 watts with adjustable valve. What I like about this is the form factor is kind of unique. It's a little tiny box. And it comes in this little case here. Now, this isn't going to replace those little tiny stoves we get... Uh, from Lixada, you know, those little little isobutane stoves that sit on the top of these cans. But what's nice about this is that it folds out. So if you're going camping, I'll show you how it folds. These are the legs. There are your legs. If you're going camping and you're going to be using a bigger pan or a bigger pot, maybe you're cooking for two or three people, this is cool. These are spring-loaded, and they snap into place. So you can use bigger pots and pans on this, and you don't have to worry about, you know, it tipping over or boiling and starting to shake and falling. Um, to connect your butane is fairly simple. You'll notice, let me get this up here for you, two little tabs, okay? You're going to take your lip here and put it under that tab, okay? While lining it up to this tab here and just turning a little bit. There isn't much to turn. It's a short little, see, there's, there's where you start, and there's your turn. You don't want to force it, you don't want to overdo it. Anyway, there you go. Now, the first thing I thought when I saw this stove is, it's going to tip over. It's not. It's pretty well balanced. I mean, yeah, if you put it over some of the edge here, but if you're using all four feet, it's not going anywhere. Plus, you're going to have whatever you're cooking on top here. If you're really concerned about it, you can always slip a rock or something underneath, but it seems to be fairly sturdy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a boil test on this. I'm going to get two cups of water, and we're going to boil it and see how fast it goes. My only complaint with this stove so far has been this uh, piezoelectric lighter. It doesn't always work. Um, let's see. <laughs> I say that now and it worked. It does have the ability to go very low or very high, which I like. You can get it on a nice low simmer there. Let me, uh, let me hit this top light, see if you can see that. Yeah, you can see it. You can get a nice low simmer, or you can turn it all the way up. Whoop, I turned it off. You can turn it all the way up. So what we're going to do when I come back is we're going to have a little boil test with two cups of water and see how long that takes. All right, got my pot ready. So that fits right on there nicely. I've got two cups of water here. And pour in. And it is kind of warm in here in my uh, garage today. So let's see what we got here. I'm getting a temperature of about 79 to 80 degrees on it. So we're not starting with freezing cold water just to start with, just so you know. Let's turn it on. Uh, hit our start button and off we go bring you back we have a boiling pot of water 
All right, you can see some bubbles starting to form on the bottom there. We're at a minute and 51 seconds, 53. Um, that's really not bad. That's pretty impressive. But let's see how much longer it takes to get to a rolling boil. Two minutes? Well, let's say three minutes just for... Three minutes. And there's your rolling boil. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, another nice thing about this stove is, again, it could be a good or bad factor. It's made of very thin metal, so it cools off quickly. So when you're done with it, you know, this isn't going to be scorching hot here. You know, you can kind of, it's warm, but it's not, you know, anything you couldn't hold. And you can just let it sit for a little bit, and it'll cool off and be able to be packed away pretty easily. So anyway, that is the Lico Butane Folding Camp Stove. Now, there are tons of these online. I'm going to put a link to one of these um, that you can pick up. They are $12.99. You can't really go wrong with a $13 stove that heats water up in three minutes, two cups of water. That's pretty darn quick. It's um, decently made. You know, again, it's light. It's not really super heavy. It's 13.8 ounces. It does have the sparker on there. I and have had a few troubles with it. You know, it didn't, uh, didn't turn on every time I used it. But, I mean, if you click it three times or one time, it's not going to cost you, you know, thousands of hours to uh, get it started. If worse comes to worse and the thing doesn't work at all, you can use a lighter heck. You can use a ferro rod to start the thing. So, I mean, it's not really a total uh, deal killer for me. Um, I like it. I'm going to be using this a lot more in my videos. Um, I didn't want to just... I notice sometimes when I'm doing boil tests out here, using a little uh, burner, you know, this this pot can start to teeter and totter when it's going, you know, really well with a boil. So I like having a bigger surface area. It's also more convenient for cooking with a pan or a pot or something if you're cooking for more than one person. Anyway, I will put the link down below and uh, I will let you uh, make up your own mind on it. I'm pretty pleased with it. I, I really like it. Um, and I like the fact that the gas, the fuel for it is a lot cheaper. And also, too, something I found, these are obnoxious in a, in a bag. Um, they're kind of hard to pack away. Yeah, if you got a big cook kit like that, you can stick it in there. But you can't put anything else in your cook kit then. These can go into a little uh, pocket on the side where you could put a water bottle. And one of these, these things seem to sip this stuff. I mean, it barely uses any fuel. Since my time in testing all of the butane devices that I purchased on this channel, I have yet to go through this bottle. It's still, I would say, probably about here. So they really tend to... Uh, sip the fuel. They last a good long time. They don't uh, take up too much space. And form factor wise, you know, this is the same size as a small water bottle. And your isobutane mix is a little bit big and bulky. So it's something to you, for you to consider for your bug out bags, your camp gear, you know, whatever. Even your home emergency preparedness. I wouldn't hesitate to use that in my kitchen in an emergency. Seems to work pretty well as long as you have adequate ventilation. Anyway, thanks for watching. I want to remind you guys, we've got the Thrive Life Store down below here in the links. Um, if you guys want to start picking up some food regularly, you can set up an account on there. You can get a monthly delivery doing it that way, or you can just buy when money allows you to buy. You know, there's no need, no, there's no need to set up any kind of account with us. Um, you can just go down there and purchase some stuff from the store, see what you like. Also, don't forget to click on our Amazon link, even if you don't want to buy anything in our Amazon store. If you click the link and you shop and you buy whatever you need in the Amazon store after clicking my link, the channel will get a little bit of money back and we'll be able to bring you more cool stuff like that. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.